Hey guys, and welcome back to Chakelin. So, uh, where we left off last time, I said I was going to do some off-camera work, get some food going. I definitely made a mistake with that. Um, I tried to put the farm up right out here, and we <laughs> have a lake, like, right over there. So I moved the farm over. It's been producing a lot faster, uh, so that's a great thing. Uh, also, captured a chicken just so I can collect some eggs. Made some chests for some storage up top here. You know, just little um, quality of life improvements for us. Now, uh, the sun just rose, so let me sneak out here and see if there's any mobs. Hello? Hello? Anybody? No. Okay, perfect. Wonderful. So, oh, nope, there's a creeper. Let's, um... I'm going to leave you alone. <laughs> uh, full disclosure, while... Uh, while you all were gone, I did get killed by a skeleton one time. So that was on day five. It is currently day something or other. Day 12. So seven Minecraft days ago, I got killed by a skeleton. Had to respawn way out in the spawn chunks because I don't have a bed yet. And so that's what the, today's episode is about. We need a bed. And honestly, for... Um, things like the creepers and uh, actually for skeletons even more so we need a bow uh, so we're going to try and get both of those this episode now you may have seen off in the distance there a little black sheep I we're, we're going to go grab him and uh, his delicious wool uh, here in a second uh, and hopefully he will drop three bits of wool and that will be our bed right there. If not, we're going to have to go on a bit of a quest to find another wool bearing sheep. You're, you're not going to take me where I want to go, are you? <sighs> Darn it. And now I can't get back up. Oh. Oh, please. Please. Ah. I'm not the best at parkour, guys, so I apologize. Oh, okay. That was a little nerve-wracking. <clears throat> I just want to go over there. Why? Yeah, we'll try this way. There's an egg down here for me too, so that, that's good. Okay, we'll have to find a different way back up, but that's okay. Thank you for the egg. This is a cool little space. Hmm. Okay. Nifty. I like it. Alright, so let's go grab this sheep. And by grab the sheep, I mean uh, kill it for its wool. Uh, we'll also get some mutton, potentially. One. Wow. That is disappointing. Okay. <sighs> let's find some more sheep. Sheepies, where is you? Where have you gone to? I know I saw some sheep when we spawned in. Like up on the tree lines and stuff, so I guess we'll wander around till we find those. There's Pig. Your day has not yet come, Pig. I don't need anything you provide right now. Yeah, I haven't gotten enough spider string to make myself um, any wool at all. I have three. Um, as I said, I wanted to get a bow this episode too, so that's what I need that for. Ah, oh, I thought I saw another black sheep. That would have been perfect, but no such luck. Just these pigs. Uh, the difficult part about the sheep right now is a lot of them are white, and we're dealing with snowy terrain, so they're going to be a little bit harder to pick out from a distance. Still don't see anything. Come on, sheep. There's all this, like, open land for you. Don't you want to spawn here <laughs> somewhere? So I can have a bed? Yes! Ah, oh, lots of sheep. Good. 
excellent. And I don't know if you guys heard that, but I definitely heard a skeleton creeping around somewhere, so let's do this quickly. Just one. I'll leave the colored sheep alone. All right, that gets us our three wool. That's what we need. All right, guys, now we can go back to base and make ourselves a bed. Nice, comfy, fluffy white bed. And we'll be able to reset our spawn. We'll be able to sleep through the night instead of just sitting through it, um, which will be awesome. And we'll get to avoid the phantom spawning that is supposed to happen at night after three days, I think it is, without sleeping in a bed. Um, I will point out, though, that it has been seven days since I died, and still no phantoms, so I don't know if there's a, like, initial cooldown or something on that, where they just, they don't spawn to like, day 20 or something. Um, no clue on that one, so... Um, but fortunately, haven't had to worry about it, so that's that's been good. I'm sure they will spawn eventually. Maybe the local difficulty has to hit a certain mark? I, I really don't know. If you guys happen to know, however, go ahead and let me know down in the comments, uh, and then we'll all be a little bit more in the know there. There's my house. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if I remembered where it was, and it is right there. Nope. Nope. Okay. There we go. It's not always easy finding a way out. Oh, also, if we have time this episode, I would love to get some fence going on around the perimeter here. Um, maybe like day seven, day eight. I had some pillagers spawn right over here, and I don't even have a bow, guys, so I, there was no way I was taking on some pillagers. Uh, I hid in my hut until they despawned, which thankfully happened rather quickly. Alright, so if you didn't know, this is the bed recipe. Just three wool, three wood, and bada bing, bada bed, you've got yourself a nice cozy place to sleep. And we'll put that there, and we can't sleep right now because it's day, but if you didn't know, in 115 you can set your spawn during day. So, re respawn, respawn point is now set, so that's great. So if I die, I pop up in my little shack here. Um, which, you know, it's cozy, but for now, it's home. So let's go grab some more of this wheat while it's growing, because, you know, need food and stuff. Now that we've got all of that going... I uh, did think, consider going and grabbing the mushrooms, but uh, for now, I think the wheat is good. We don't have to rely on um, using bone meal to grow them or anything. I also added some lights right outside the house just to um, keep things from spawning right next to it. Uh, and now we need a bow. So I have the materials I need for that, actually. Uh, right here, and we'll grab three of our extra sticks from all the tree farming we've been doing. <clears throat> and if you didn't know, this is the recipe for a bow. I was kind of hoping to get one from a skeleton, but that just hadn't happened yet. And there it is, a bow. So we're going to replace the hoe with a bow. <laughs> uh, I crack myself up sometimes. Probably not you guys so much, though. Okay, so that's that's that. We got our bed and we have our bow. Whoop. Let me try that again. All right, perfect. And now I only have four arrows, so the bow is not super useful yet. But yeah, that's that's just where it's at. Now, security. Um there's a little bit of time left in the day. You know what? Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just wait till it's night. We'll take a nice little nap and then we'll, we'll move on from there. 
You know what? I have a solution for this. We need to make a trapdoor. Nope. There we go. Okay, so now I can drop in here. And I should be able to climb back out. Oh. Okay. Does that only color me confused? Does that only work if there's like a ladder right here? It okay. It works if there's a ladder and not if it if there's not. Well, that's convenient. We got that all set up now, so I don't have to dig out a block, and I can just run down there any time the chicken decides to lay an egg. Uh, let's pop this up in here, pop these up in here. Uh, we'll make ourselves some more bread so we don't starve. Not that there's a risk of that at the moment. And it's nighttime, so let's take a nap. And hey, we got an advancement. Cool. Sweet dreams. Wonderful. Now, as I said, let's deal with the security issue. We're gonna grab sticks, we're gonna grab some of these, and we're just gonna make a ton of fences. And whatever that got us, 39 is not gonna be enough. I can already tell you that much. All right. Try this. Okay, so that's going to do us a little better. But hopefully nothing will have spawned, because we didn't really let it get too dark. There's another tree there whenever we're ready for that. But right now... Mm, what level do I want this fence at, is really the question. I'm thinking right along here. Ah, all the white. Yeah, let's, let's do that. And probably like that. Oh, well that's a little silly. Can I get in there? I can. Good. That'd be like a little observation area, I guess. If nothing else, this will make the house a little bit more secure. That way we don't have to worry too much about the uh, pillagers and stuff. Okay. Is this too high? Yeah, but that's not. And they can jump up there and right up there. So that's... That's not going to fly. Okay. But if we do that, let's do it. Alright, cool. So this area is nice and secure. We're probably going to put our gate Right here? Yeah. So that is the reverse recipe. <laughs> no sense. Um, but that's just the way they did it, so. I know that was already the recipe for the gate, and then when they changed the fences to be... Um, 
wood specific instead of just always oak. Um, they changed the recipe for the fences so it was uh, the two blocks on either side so it could um, keep the color identity. And they just left the gate alone because that's the recipe everyone already knew. So I, I get it. I really do get it. Okay, so that's that's got us a lot more secure now. Um, I did put half slabs on top of the roof. Makes it look a little weird, but um, it keeps the sight lines clear so things can't see through the chests that are in the roof. Uh, it also keeps things from spawning on the roof, so that's uh, a little bonus there. All right, so we're doing pretty good here. Now we've got some more work to do. I want to get to the nether as soon as possible, and basically what we're going to need for that is just a ton of iron. Um, I need iron for buckets. I need iron for shears. If you remember, we needed shears to make the carved pumpkins for golems and stuff. Uh, that's not really relevant to the nether, but it just uh, is a thing. And we need iron for armor, like, for sure. So, I think in our next episode, we're just... We're, we're going to take our chicken hole and probably just drop that all the way to bedrock. And I'll see what kind of misadventures that, that gets us into there. Um, should be pretty cool. In the meantime, though, hmm, I'll probably light up this area a bit. In fact, let's do that right now since we're here. So this is basically a torch here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to carry them out from where they're at. <laughs> that one goes right there. Nice. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Is that right? No. It'll be on the corner. Gotcha. And you technically would be down there. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. And let's go ahead and fill in the corners and such. So, we're... Okay, so that's the line up right there. This one's actually going to be outside the fence. That one spot. As is this one, I believe. Yep. And this one, of course, is going to be like way outside the fence. So that one we're probably just not going to worry about. It'll be there, and then like off over here. So yeah, we're not gonna worry about that one. Cool. So that's got us a nice little light grid going on here. Uh, should keep most things from spawning in this area during the night, which we can just sleep through now. So I guess that's a little bit less relevant. Um, but that's okay. Let's go grab our wheat. And uh, I will probably work on expanding this, the fencing, to include the farm and adding torches and stuff. Uh, since we're going to be living in this area for a little bit, that is a really cool little thing. Uh, gotta love the natural generation. Um, yeah, since we'll be li living in this area a little bit, you know what, no, I'm, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to, we're just going to stick with this for now. This will be good. We're going to dig down, we're going to get the resources we need, we're going to go to the nether, and 
that will move us towards the rest of our plans. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is this is pretty much what we need for now. Uh, you guys got me thinking now. Okay. All right, I do have I do have an idea for later. Hmm. I'm gonna have to develop that a little bit. Okay. Uh, we'll save that for later. And uh, but yeah, this has been a good episode. We got our bed. We got our boat. And we got some fencing around the hut for some nighttime security. Um, plus a little bit of a couple torches down for light and whatnot. And yeah, so we're doing good. We're doing really good. So next episode, we're going to be doing some digging, getting some iron, and possibly other stuff. But, you know, uh, iron's really the goal there. And we're going to be making what we need to um, get moving on the whole other thing. Uh, we're also going to need eight lava source blocks um not necessarily eight buckets of lava because i can grab one and bring it home and grab one and bring it home and just dig little holes for them but yeah uh eight source blocks so there's one uh there's one somewhere over this way i think i can see it at night sometimes yeah if you look there in the corner like over here when i turn the screen you can see it flowing down that that hillside there so that's two and then hopefully we'll find some more uh, when we do some digging and uh, not plummet into it when we find it, because that would be less than ideal. Okay, so that's great. We did good, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me sleep off the night here. And there's an egg. Let me grab that. And we will call it an episode, guys. Um, yeah, this has been awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you liked the episode, make sure to hit the like button, and of course, if you loved the episode, or just liked it, and you want to see more of it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell, so you can get notices when I make more episodes, and you won't miss anything. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.